Alex Buchanan with Cape Thai Press, and I'm here with Steve Garcia, who returns to action at UFC 275. Steve, how are you? I'm good, man. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm happy. To, I'm really happy to be talking with you. Um, first of all, happy belated birthday. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. What'd you do? You know what I did? I went and played golf. I And you actually just called me. I literally just came back in from playing some golf, too, so... It's definitely like my my getaway from you know, all the craziness that goes on in my life and training and kids and family and all that stuff like that. So uh, I love it, man. It's a good time. Awesome. Awesome. I'm happy to hear that. Um, dude, you're 15 days out. How are you feeling? I'm ready to go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I, I need it like ASAP. This has been such a long a long training camp just because of the fallout of April 23rd with uh, Demir Hatsovich. So uh, I've been training since January, the end of January, just like hard. It's nice because I've been in like super good shape. You know what I mean? But I'm just, I'm just ready to get it done with, to be honest. I'm, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's push wanted, the start. Go. Go I ahead. wanted to uh, touch on the, the, the uh, Demir fight a little bit um, later, but let's just, how bummed were you? that that fight fell out i was super bummed i mean i i could have sworn like you know they wouldn't have made the matchup if everything would have been good so i don't know if that was ufc if that was his fault at the end of the day it doesn't matter i'm gonna i don't i you know i'm just kind of on standby at that point and ufc has been so busy booking matchups and stuff like that so it was kind of hard for me to uh, find a good matchup and i was just kind of waiting uh they told me to uh just kind of be on standby so i was just on standby and i say about two three weeks later they find the name like hey man uh you want to go see him for and i was like i don't care they just let's let's fight i don't care and he's like okay he sent me the matchups and everything i was like cool let's go and um now we're going to see and we're we're gonna fight but i was super bummed man i was super bummed because you lose sleep you think about somebody when you go to bed you think about him when you wake up you think about him during training either he's the reason why you're training so hard like I, I I told my wife this and like, I didn't want to make her mad, but I was like, I'm sorry, babe. Sometimes I think about him more than I think about you. <laughs> and she was like, wow. I was like, it's not, it's not, it's not to like make you mad. It's just this guy's trying to hurt me. You know what I mean? It's just, it changes it. It changes the game. And I want to make sure that I'm doing my job and he's not going to do his job, you know? And so just how it goes. It's how it goes. Were you um, offered any short notice? um fights for that april 23rd card they kind of threw out a name and he had like i think 12 or 13 fights in the ufc uh and my coaches you know our game plan was totally different for this guy and it was it was you know i think we would have had enough time but like my my coach was like you know what steve he said let's just we'll kind of give it a second like you know i know you this will be your your third fight but he said you know what this is like your second fight you have only had two fights at 55 let's let's you know let's make sure that we're 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 doing this the right way because at 35 and 45 i wouldn't have cared you know 55 i'm trying to be a little bit smarter just because it's a newer weight class to me and um my management sean shelby everybody was 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 okay with it so i was like awesome like i'm happy because you know this at the end of the day, my, my job is to fight you know what i mean i just want to be a little bit smarter uh just being at the upper higher up uh Going up in weight class. I'm sorry. Mm. Um, I mean, how this is? Yeah, so this is like your second fight at lightweight, man. Um, how how do you not like not not cutting like not cutting a lot of weight? Like, how is it on your body, man? Like it it's it's a lot better. It's a lot easier. I'm definitely a lot more pleasant to be around. Uh, you know, it's it's very very strange because I I'm like the like what I normally would cut to 35 is kind of where I'm walking at like now. And it's kind of crazy because I'm not far off from 55. And when I was cutting to 35 and 45, like I had a lot of like medical and health issues uh, just because I've been doing it for so long, you know, like I know I'm only 12 and four professionally, but this, this fight with uh, Mahashate, I think it will be my 33rd fight. So I've cut so many different times and like my insides was hurt and it's, it just, I like I I would cut so much weight just to make 35 and I and I did it because it paid off. I was doing so good. Um, but then my body, you know, catches up to you and they're like, you gotta you gotta wait a second here, man. So now we're at 55. I've I still feel strong. I still feel like I can be a little bit more stronger. I feel like I'm a little bit more faster. So I'm still developing all this stuff and 
there's still a thought maybe going back down to 45 could, could be potentially, you know, uh, a situation, but right now I'm focused at 55. Uh, my weight has been great and I'm just, I'm ready to just get this done with to be honest, man. Awesome. Awesome. Before we talk about that fight, I wanted to, to touch on your teammate, Holly Holmes controversial decision. Um, I know that was, it, it fucking sucked. Uh, well, what do you think about it? I, I mean, honestly, I don't know Holly's pay, but she physically got robbed. Uh, you know, we get paid on, I don't know for sure her pay scale, but uh, I know my pay scale and you have a show purse and you have a win purse. And I think, I believe 99% of the MMA community could agree that Holly Holm won that night. So in a way, if, if it was me, I'd be super pissed because I didn't win my win bonus. You know, that's half my check. So I hope, you know, she's, she's, she's been a champion. So I don't know how their, how their pay scale is different, but um, it hurt me in the sense because I helped her get ready for that fight. Um, you know, it just, it, it bothers me. Like I get more stressed out watching some of my teammates fight than I do myself, you know? And I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm at the edge of my seat, just like, like, you know, always like, you know, I pumped and there's like moments of like, Oh man, like, no, come, you know what I mean? So it's a roller coaster. So, um, I was, I was, I was hurt for her. It'd have been different if it was much, much closer. And I'm like, yeah, that can, that could have went either way. It's kind of like with her and like, uh, Deronda May or her with Cyborg, like there was very close rounds. I'm like, I don't know, man, it could go either way. That's why I'm like, no, nah, she got it. But she got it. And I was sitting on the couch. I'm like, yeah, she got it. She got it. She, you know, she, 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 uh, hit her with some good, uh, push kicks to the face some different things. And I'm like, this is, it just didn't make sense to me. I, I mean, how about you? Did you think she won? Yeah, I was there live and we, we were all shocked in the, in the media room. Just like, what? Like, yeah. It just didn't make any sense. Like, you, like round three was a swing round, but like, she won that fight. She she won it. She, yeah. she she won that round, and it's just like you could you could say she she definitely won three rounds. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. It's just it it is. I can't imagine what it is to feel like with you guys. You put in so much fucking work so much like so much time so much eff effort you make so much sacrifices and then to have these three fucking idiots yeah ruin it yeah pretty much yeah. <laughs> just... they need they, they need to do something they need to bring in two more I, i'm okay with five judges i'm okay with if, if you have you know three judges and then you have like one that just like no that's not okay I, I mean some people say about the open scoring system i don't really know but this is not the first time it's happened, but it's happened. I mean, as you can say that fight is a very high caliber fight. Whoever won that fight gets is the number one contender for the title. So like for me, I'm like, there's two things. Like it looks super shady that it's not that two judges gave it to, uh, was it Viera? Is it her name is Viera? And I'm not saying like, she's not a good competitor. She, she was tough. Like Mahali told me, she's like, she's probably the toughest fight in the division at the moment. Uh, besides the champ and uh, and Nunez, I'm like, all right, Haley, I'm a Haley, uh, uh, Holly, you got to do what you got to do, and so that's what she did. She stuck to the game plan. I mean, of course, she got you know touched up a little bit. And you're in a fight, and um, it sucks to see it happen that way. So it's because like I I put myself in that position. I'd be so mad if that happened to me. So I told I I literally went to my coach. I'm like, I don't know what we got to do. I was like, do we need to have a finish class? Cause we can't rely on these judges anymore. I was like, we just gotta just, our, our, our finishing rate needs to go through the roof now. Like we cannot let that happen anymore. So. Yeah, um, man, it's, it's crazy. I, my, I, I've always thought like the, the judges should be off like in, in a room wearing headphones so you can watch the fight. Like I've sat yeah. Kate side and it is impossible to judge a fight that way. Cause you can't yeah, see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, it's super hard. It's super hard, man. Like, I, I mean, I've cornered a couple guys and like, you know, you have the, the poles in the way. Sometimes you miss a couple things. Uh, yeah, they, they should definitely figure out a better solution. I mean, they, we, we you got to, people don't understand, like, you know, we have a boxing commission. Boxing, you, you're focusing on, on simple things that just stand up, really. Now we have three sports at minimum. You have, you have a striking a martial art you have wrestling martial art and you have a jujitsu martial art typically all mesh into one 
and you're telling me you were going off of boxing rules in a sense. It doesn't make sense to me. You got to change something. This is a different sport than boxing. And I love boxing. You know, let if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. I'm fine with that. But when it comes to MMA, we got to do some 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 adjustments. You know, yeah. I don't know when that, when it's gonna happen. It has to happen quick because the judges are ruining the sport, and it yeah. is. You know, it's like it's like look what's happened to boxing. Like it's just like you can see it. You can see it. It's just like. And the sport's only 30 years old, but like, come on, do something. Yeah, we're 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 at a state where like we're making adjustments, we're trying to make the sport better. And I, I feel like what sucks about it is it's not even the UFC's fault. That is the the state's commission's fault. And uh they're in Nevada. This is this is literally the the top notch, it should be the top notch commission globally you know what i mean this is the fight nation this is where all the fights come they should be better than anybody else when it comes to this and we have this problem it just doesn't make any sense to me absolutely absolutely man oh it's annoying um man so it's been six months since your win over Char- charlie ontiveros um firstly how do you feel about that performance and then how did it feel to get your first ufc win Getting the first win was like my biggest goal to date or to that time. Um, you to me, I feel like you're not even a UFC fighter till you win. You know, there's people like, oh, I made it to the UFC and they don't know what to do. I'm like, you win, you gotta win. You gotta be like to me, you're in there. Just because you're in there and you're wearing a UFC logo, like you 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 technically might not belong, you know, you might not be good enough to win in that cage. And like when I when I won. I finally got that. I'm like, all right, I, I I belong here. You guys saw that. You guys saw. I not only did I just make it, I made a statement. You know, I put my fist to his face, and we won. You know, um, as far as my performance, there was a couple hiccups at the beginning. I could I could feel a little bit of, uh, I don't want to say ring rust, but like just some uncomfortable situations. Like I, like like you got to get kind of f- f- like familiar, kind of warmed up a little bit. You'll feel it again. And then boom, it clicked. And I was like, all right, we just got to, we got to stick to the game plan. Cause once, you know, shit kind of hit the fan, fan, you, you know, my, you know, my coach is like, all right, this is, well, this is how our game plan is going to go. We're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to go in and I guess plan B, you know, mm-hmm. uh, props to my props to my opposition, uh, Charlie Antiveros, mm-hmm. very slick with his kicks, very slick with certain things quick fast you know um but i w- I didn't care how i was gonna win all i knew was gonna win mm-hmm. so i was like however we're gonna get it done is i'm getting it done i don't care gotcha gotcha well now you're on the ufc 275 man and um i tried to figure out your opponent's name i tried to like watch my so many videos on like how to pronounce it right but like i don't want to fuck okay. it up and that sound rude so just how do you like the matchup <laughs> I think I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. I think his name is Mahashate. So like my 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 dad calls him Shadi. You know what I mean? So I was like, all right, I can I can go with that. I can go with that. Uh the matchup, I like the matchup. You know, I I'm very surprised. Uh, you know, he I feel like he's a little green. I do feel like he's a little green. He's six and one, just came out of contender. Uh kid's tough. He has uh some durability. He has some good striking if he's at his range. Uh, if he's leading the dance, he does well. Um, there's potential in this guy. There really is. But I don't feel he's on my level. I mean, I feel a lot of these guys are on my level. But especially this guy, and I'm not trying to, like, downplay his performances. I don't, I'm not trying to downplay who he is. But I am not going to give him the benefit of the doubt and thinking he's better than me. He's not better than me. So I'm going in there, you know, guns blazing. You know, we're going to go out there and I'm going to figure out exactly how I'm going to take him out. I mean, in my head, I play so many different scenarios and just prepare for, you know, even the worst of the scenarios that can happen in my last fight. I mean, was a true definition of just making sure, like, you know, if things don't go exactly how you plan, it's all right. We're going to figure out the next thing. And I feel like this guy, it could happen. Who knows? The guy's long. He has, he has good striking. Um, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm better than him in every position, striking on my feet, uh, ground and pound, wrestling, jujitsu. I feel like I'm there and, um, it's my time. It's not his. Do you think his inexperience and, uh, is, is, is going to lead to his downfall? Because I mean, you're a, you're not, 
you're an MMA veteran. Like you've been around yeah. the game for a long time. You've been in multiple big organizations. Yeah. Like you said, he's coming in with like six fights. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you, you've been, a, you've had your UFC debut. I mean, do you think his inexperience is going to lead to his downfall? I feel like his, inex- his inexperience is going to be the reason for him losing but I do also feel like he handled uh, his fight, the the contender fight, pretty well. Like he wasn't really um, nervous, you know, for his for his uh, contender fight. You know, he handled the lights well. He handled, you know, I don't know if it's super quiet. When I was there, I was it was super quiet. Even when I fought uh, Antaveros, he that was kind of quiet. Um, so I've 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 been there. You know what I mean. So I know what that's like. And some people handle it and some people, they struggle with it and he handled it pretty well. So I give him props to that. Um, But it's like you said, like I fought on, you know, this is not my only big organization that I've competed for. I have competed for big organizations prior to this. I fought, you know, people that are in the UFC that that weren't at the UFC at that point. Like we're just, I just kind of feel like I, I, I had Jim in that, in that area. Absolutely. Absolutely. At the end of the day, June 11th, how do you get your hand raised? I mean, honestly, I feel like I don't know which round, but it should be a TKO finish. It could be a TKO finish. If I want to get fancy with it, I might try to go for a submission, but who knows? I'm just, I'm trying to be open-minded to it because at the end of the day, I want to say this is my last fight of my contract. I got to make a statement, got to renegotiate that next contract. Um, And, you know, it's going to be against him. So, you know, I got to make it look as, as, as clean as possible. So I, 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 that's, that's my, in my head that I run through just TKO, 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 however it is, but it is a finish. It's, I, I, I'm, I'm so upset if I get a, if I get a decision, I'm not okay with it. I just cannot stand it. I'm in a fist fight and I can't finish a fight. Are you kidding me? Like it drives me nuts. And I, there's some really tough guys out there, but man, I was like, this is, I could, I wish I could, we could just do a full 15 minutes, like without a break. Like if I could, I, like, I know for a fact, if that was the case, we wouldn't have any decisions. I was like, I oh, will finish all my fights because the work I put in. So I'm confident in it. And, uh, you know, I'm never, I'm never satisfied with the decision. Gotcha. Even if it's a win. Gotcha. Um, lastly, fighting scene for man, like how's, how's it feeling? Are you excited to go over there? I feel like going to a new place is like the exciting part going over there and making sure that I can adjust my box. Cause I've never fought outside the country, um, much less really vacation. I mean, I've been to the Bahamas and like Mexico, you know what I mean? So the time difference is not huge. Uh, I mean, I'm going to be hopping on like pretty much a 20 hour flight down there, 13 hour difference. Uh, I just like Holly's the one who gave me the advice. She's like, you know what? You just got to stay up for, pretty much 48 hours, man. So you want to, you want to feel normal for say 48 hours. I was like, okay, well then that, that's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. So those are like the nerve wracking part for me. Cause it's, it's new to me, mm-hmm. but like to go and say, go across, you know, the other part of the world and, you know, see a whole different place that most people don't even, probably even get to see. That's, that's a blessing in its own. Like I'm blessed. My, my sports allowed me to travel, uh, which is, which is cool, you know? Um, I didn't travel to the East coast until I started fighting, you know what I mean? So I was like, I thought that was pretty cool. Now I'm going to Asia and it's like, wow, you know? Um, but anyways, it's, uh, it, it, it'll be an experience of, of a lifetime. That's, that's something not many people get to do. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Steve, thank you so much for your time, man. I really appreciate it. Um, you want to plug your social media, plug any sponsors. You want to thank anybody? The floor is yours. Thank you, man. Uh, you know, man, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, that's, you know, it's awesome. I love having these interviews with, with, uh, with you and, you know, whoever else wants to know about this fight and what I plan to do to this guy. Um, so thank you for that. I always want to thank my teammates, my coaches. You guys are all awesome. Uh, always give glory to my king. I, I was born dead, so I'm blessed to have a life, and now I'm doing what I'm doing. So I always give him praise. My wife, my kids, you guys are great. Uh, come check me out at Me Machine Five Hundred Five. Um, I'm mainly an Instagrammer. I mean, you can come check me out on Facebook too, but I link those too. And um, uh, if you want to get to see a little bit more about me, that's in my family, the craziness that goes on. That's where you're gonna find me. And 
Uh, lastly, the sponsors, man, like uh, uh, Complete, uh, uh, I think it's Rejuvenation. They've been helping me with my um, uh, recovery. So they're awesome. Um, uh, Brad, uh, my SS, he, he also helps with my recovery. If, you know, I need to be fixed, he fixes me up. So thank you for doing that. SMI Facility Service has always been in my corner. You guys are great. Uh, and there's so many different more people that have been so helpful and contributed uh, to my success in, in the UFC and, and before I was in the UFC. So thank you guys. God bless all you guys. And I appreciate everything and all your support.